so let's move on to another step, another uh, pathway of metabolic reactions, which is ketogenesis. This is another anabolic reaction in that we're building something. Um, so because we have the word genesis here, ketogenesis, we are building ketones. Now, as I mentioned previously, when we were talking about gluconeogenesis, I told you that the brain can't use fat for energy. Um, so the brain needs a constant supply of glucose. However, if we are constantly relying on making glucose by taking this oxaloacetate, make, turning it into pyruvate and doing glycolysis backwards, we're going to run out of oxaloacetate in the Krebs cycle. And that's gonna really slow down the Krebs cycle. And if, we, if our Krebs cycle gets slowed down, then there's gonna be no oxaloacetate available to accept the acetyl-CoA's to you know, go through the Krebs cycle and reduce compounds in order to generate energy. So instead, what's gonna happen is um, we're gonna take all this acetyl-CoA that has been building up because the Krebs cycle is backed up. We're gonna take those two acetyl-CoA's and we're gonna add them together in a chemical reaction that is going to produce ketones. And these ketones, they can be used as energy. Um, so the, the brain can adapt to using ketones as energy. And so the ketones, again, are going to be formed by taking two acetyl-CoA's and going through a series of chemical reactions to produce ketones. So um, in, uh, in a lot of the diets that we talk about right now in the literature and popular media, which are ketogenic diets, these are diets which restrict carbohydrate in order to force your body into a state where it is producing ketones.